Welcome back guys. So in the last video, we had a look at the advantages of using TypeScript or a strictly type language. And in this video, we're going to set up our code editor and we're going to install TypeScript and set up the development environment for ourselves so that we are on the same page. The first thing that we're going to need is a code editor and you do have a few choices here. The first option is the Visual Studio Code. Now, this is the preferred code editor for most of the people developing in JavaScript or using TypeScript. And many people are familiar with this particular code editor. So you can definitely go ahead and use Visual Studio Code for the entire course. The second option that you have is WebStorm. Now, this is not free, but is paid and is my preferred choice of IDE. I'm pretty used to using WebStorm and that's what I use uh, when I code on day to day basis. And this is what I'm going to use throughout this entire course. Now, let me just point out over here that anything that I do in the course is not specific to the IDE that you use. So whether you're using WebStorm or you're using Visual Studio Code, it doesn't really matter. So whatever code that I'm going to write or the settings that I'm going to do in my IDE are applicable to both Visual Studio Code and WebStorm. So I'm not going to use any specific IDE features here, but general TypeScript features. So again, I'm going to use WebStorm and you're free to use any IDE that you want to. Now, the next step is to install TypeScript on our system. We're going to navigate to the download TypeScript page on the TypeScript website and you can see that they have listed various ways in which you can install TypeScript. The first method of installing TypeScript is specific to your particular project. So you don't need to install TypeScript globally on your system and you can install it as an NPM dependency just for the project that you're working on. And in that case, you would have to use NPX TSC command in order to compile your TypeScript files. But just to keep things simple, I'm going to go ahead with the global install and not make it specific to our project. In case of a global install, we can install TypeScript globally on our system. And then instead of using NPX, we can directly use the TSC command in order to compile our TypeScript files. So let's just go ahead and get TypeScript installed on our system. And for that, I'm going to copy this command. Now I'm going to go back to my IDE and WebStorm, just like uh, the Visual Studio Code has a built in terminal and I'm going to open that. I have created a TypeScript directory on my system and my terminal is navigated into that particular TypeScript directory as well. So here I'm going to pass in this npm global command to install TypeScript globally on my system and let's just go ahead and do it. Now TypeScript is installed globally on my system and we can check it through this command. Now you see it tells me that version 4.5.2 is installed on my system as per the latest version while I'm recording this video. Now since TypeScript is installed on our system, the last thing that we want to do within this TypeScript directory is instantiate a TypeScript configuration file. Now there's a simple command to do that. So what you need to do is tsc dash dash init. Now when I run this command, it will generate a TypeScript config file on my system and within the TypeScript directory, which is going to be specific to this particular directory. Now, if you see, we have got this tsconfig file here. I'm just going to open this file and show you the contents of this file. Now you see it has got various settings and it comes with certain default settings for TypeScript. We are going to go through these settings and most important ones uh, as we progress through the course. But for right now, just for the sake of simplicity, we are going to stick to the default settings that TypeScript creates as the tsconfig.json file within our directory. So that's pretty much it. We have TypeScript installed. We have the tsconfig.json file within our TypeScript directory and we can start writing some TypeScript. I'm going to see you in the next video.